Hello, what you see here is a surface. On the surface, hair does grow, and the hair has an irregular structure. It's been groomed, and we'll do some grooming today. The first thing you need in order to grow hair, you need a surface where to grow the hair on. And uh, we can pick any kind of surface, and uh, let's just do a plane here and uh, deactivate the grid because we have a grid now and it's quite nice actually to have a surface which is not totally flat so you might go you don't need to uh, go to modify and transformation tools and here you have the proportional modification tool and uh, it basically does this go to vertices pick the vertices back there and you see they won't scale up uh, move up all the same but uh, they have a, a distance where the, where the um, transformation is dropping off and we can do the same here we don't move them all the same way up it's a proportional modification tool and down here we might move them a little bit down here we can scale them a little bit uh, maybe that was too much or rotate them like this so this is the rotation then right mouse button object mode and we're back again we have a nice little surface where we can grow the hair on now let's select the surface and go to the section of X gen hair um, there are several ways to create hair in Maya one is uh, n hair I think it's called n hair uh, it's a, a section of the n particle system then we have fur this is mainly for short lovely hair it's been uh, with Maya for over 10 years now and uh, been used in so many movies and now you have X-Gen hair uh, here is X-Gen uh, what we'll do first is invoke the X-Gen main editor and you uh, find this uh, on the very left side of uh, the green icon section open the XGen window that's what we're going to do now and here this basic thing opens now we create a new description we, hair is it called a description here and here we have several options um, what will change here the only thing will change here is we want to groom the hair so it's going to be a groomable splines use for short hair fur grass etc and then we click create now the hair is growing on our surface let's see what it looks like when we render it uh, with Arnold we need a light and of course we start with the sky dome light which is probably pretty bright and then we render it and this is what it looks like not very interesting really so let's under settings here uh, increase the density and in the preview window here in our modeling window so to say the density does increase but in Arnold it does not and the reason is that we need this eye here uh, you have this uh, sign meaning telling you do something with me please and we click here and uh, then the whole scene updates and the Maya um, Arnold render view updates as well so we get a nice dense um, scaling uh, and uh, density of the hair here uh, so just to give you a glimpse of how it renders you need to do this step in between in order to get a, a nice preview of the of what you actually get as a rendering now let's uh, increase the length of the hair so they're much longer now and maybe the tip color let's make it more reddish to give it a un more unique um, impression here and now we'll go to the section of grooming actually it's open already <clears throat> uh, here we have several ways to groom the hair and now it's would be good if you have a graphic tablet use your pen it's much more fun really <clears throat> I'll do it with a mouse here though um, let's groom uh, for example the orientation so it's an orient brush that's my comb now and uh, the comb is 
without pressing a mouse button or a pencil button, uh, it shows me that this is the size it will work on the on the hair, and it doesn't work here. It starts here, and now it disappears. And if you press the key B, press and hold actually, um, you can make it smaller or larger. The key B applies to any kind of brushes in Maya, and there's loads of brushes really. Even in uh, IK handles you have uh, brush um, options to bind skin to bones in uh, uh, very sophisticated ways. So um, let's stick to that size and start grooming. Isn't that nice and so cool and now the length. I'll make it a little bit smaller like this. Let's groom the length longer here in the middle. You see it's sticking out now and here and pressing B again much higher here. So the hair is actually longer here. It's not a bump or dent in our surface. So uh, let's add a little bit noise. Noise is always good. Um, press B and hold B again. Make it very big because the noise is a, is a nice thing which you can apply to everything here. You have a more or less random distribution now. And uh, of course you have lots of other parameters here. Twist and smooth and uh, bend and only regional, uh, working on regional things. And um, the width, for example, makes it... Uh, uh, wider at the bottom and uh, smaller at the top and that's basically all I want to tell you I want to show you in order to render it let's render it doesn't look nice doesn't look current so we have to press the I again and now we have the render view what Arnold actually renders of course we need better lighting, maybe we need lots of more hair, but this is a way we can approach the whole thing.